Alright. Wes? What? Where are we going today? Uh, we're going on a ride. What are you, stupid? Where to? You oh. idiot. Uh, looks like Kernville is the destination. Kernville's the destination, huh? Yeah, right. And there. is this going to be the maiden... This is going to be kind of the maiden trip, isn't it? The oh, it shakedown is. trip for the scoots? Pro good. The only bad thing about this whole trip is I got to go with this jackass. Oh, I mean, I wasn't supposed to say that. I got to go with this idiot. Oh, it's down here? Oh, see? Oh, sorry, Don. So, so and are we going to go eat some fish and chips tonight, Wes? Uh, if we get off the stupid camera and start making it making it happen. All right, well, we're going to head out. We're, gonna, we're heading to Kernville. Hopefully, we'll get some drone footage and some food footage because Wes likes to eat. He is the devastator of food. That's the funny. annihilator of food. So, all right, we got here to Kernville, and guess where Wes is? He's in the diner in the bathroom. Yeah. Anyhow, this is the taste of Kernville. Look, he's coming out of the bathroom right there. He demanded that we come here and partake in some food because his uh, stomach was eating his backbone. Yeah, and then we found out that Friday is when they have the all-you-can-eat fish and chips, so a little depressed right now. Yeah, you see, you notice the blueness in his face. It's very sad. This is what Les is doing right now. He's fixing to eliminate any food that's in his face. See, Wes is going to make that meal extinct. Oh, it's delicious. I'm crying for the chicken fried steak right now because it is gone. It's, it is delicious. There's no hope for his chicken fried steak. Look what Wes did in my plate. He ate all mine, and then he can't quite finish his because he was too busy eating all of mine. I'm trying. I'm trying. Larry yeah. eats so darn fast. That was good. <laughs> I mean, that was fetching good. What, what's the name of this joint? Cheryl's. Cheryl's in Kernville. I highly recommend it. It's it's freaking delish. Anyhow, I recommend Cheryl's. One thing I'll have to say is that Wes, the level of gas that was coming out of his rectus last night, rectus, was small compared to Larry's. No, it was <laughs> it was it was pretty bad. I uh, I had to get up. Well, you can see the tent doesn't even have a rain to fly on it because it was so bad. It was uh, definitely probably the worst gas coming from a human being that I've ever experienced. And I think he probably needs to go see a surgeon about maybe having something taken care of down there. All right, well, it's day two of our trip and this is our campsite. Wes's fat, lazy body. He's so comatose from the uh, from the chicken fried steak. This is the mighty Kern River, and uh, it's full. Very full today. So, uh, Wessie, an idiot. you want to okay. tell us what's going on up here, what happened just now? I mean, <clears throat> we put the drone up in the air. Larry couldn't fly. Why couldn't I fly? <laughs> what are you, freaking idiot? He's an idiot. <laughs> You're the idiot. <clears throat> so we were kind so, of flying phoneless, weren't we, Wes? Well, you were. I Wes was, no responsibility. Wes was saying, go ahead, fly it, fly it. I don't care if you crash it. <laughs> he doesn't care. He, he doesn't give a crap about anybody but himself. We're up on the bridge, you can see people are fishing and just having a good old time. See, we got a guy down there fishing, he's loving life. So what are we doing next, Wes? Is your stomach growling? <laughs> it's always growling. What's the difference between these scooters and the ones that we've been riding on, Wes? I mean, do you notice the difference at all? Well, <clears throat> this one doesn't blow up, the other one blows up. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's kind that's of a, a big, big difference. difference. Yeah, so um, 
Well, that's a mental note. If you want to take a scooter that blows up, we take the other one. If you want to take one that doesn't, we bring these. All right, we're here at South Creek Falls. <clears throat> so we have to stay behind the fence because it's extremely dangerous. We're behind the fence. Being behind the fence with Wes is extremely dangerous. There we go. That's a good view right there. We are just men in a cave causing mayhem. Bye. All right, we're out here at Lake Isabella. Sorry for the wind noise. I didn't bring a wind sock, so, uh, so bear with me. But anyhow, Wes is busy doing some school stuff. Right. Why are you not looking at the camera? It's upsetting me. Because I'm trying to do. You're, just get work. done what you need to get done, will you? Okay. All I'll right. Do. We're at Lake Isabella. Here, here she is. She's very full too. Big old fetching lake. Lots of water. The road's closed because the water washed it out. So this this route in is no bueno. All right, we're at the park in Kernville, and uh, you can see, Wes, is it is the water high? Well, yeah. But not according to these little gauges here. I mean, I guess it could be worse because it goes all the way back. It could could be up here. I imagine that would be a, a bad thing. So it's still within reason, but it's sure a lot higher than it was last time we were here. Yeah, real pretty area. Nice place to visit. Only thing that's really ugly is what's in the camera lens right now. And all I can say is that I'm sorry you guys have to put up with the ugliness. It's, it's bad. I've, I've become, I built up an immunity to it over the years. But uh, when you first see that, that beast, it's a, it's a terrible, terrible thing. And I apologize. Wes is hovering towards the barbecue there's some tri-tip barbecue over here that Wes is <laughs> navigating towards and I, I got a feeling that he's he's uh, desirous to partake in the the activities well, he acts like he's not hungry I'm not hungry he may not be hungry but I'll guarantee he would eat though <laughs> well I mean if I was forced to I, it's a social thing you know I mean it, it, it has nothing to do with being hungry or not well, let's go take a look at that tri-tip though. It doesn't look bad. Looking good. That's a little bit of meat there. That looks pretty good. It is. Is this your gig here? Yeah. It is? What's yeah. your name? I'm Mike Kowalski. Mike, I'm Larry. Larry? I got a little YouTube channel. I want to have you on it. What, what's the name of your... What's the name of your... Uh, it's uh, Kern River Valley Elks Lodge. Wow. Oh, okay. You're doing it with it for the Elks yeah. Lodge. Oh, yeah, great. Yeah, so for our charities and that. So it's that's what awesome. we make the money for. All right. Yeah. We smelled it all the way up the street. <laughs> <laughs> that's where we do it. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, this is beautiful country. Yeah, that's real nice. So, yeah. yeah. Don't go swimming. No, they're probably not recommended right now. <laughs> nope. Not at all. <laughs> yeah. I it's a dangerous river. You gonna hit me? Huh? Oh. Look at there. Wes is happy now. Oh, I'm happy. Why are you happy? I'm beating my face. There we go. Mine is a diet one. I've got a diet when it's all just ice. Just ice. Mine's just ice. That's what we're doing. That's our hobby right there. Mm -hmm. So you can see Wes walking off in the distance. He's got a sense of urgency on his mind. There he goes. He's heading for the bathrooms. And that's usually what happens. He eats, and he's got to handle business. It's constant. It's just a constant thing with him. I, I, I can't hardly take it anymore. It's difficult to, to bear, but uh, it's a burden that I've been given, and I, I accept the burden, but it's not a, not really a, it's not a pleasant thing. Yeah, I've been waiting here a while. Um, I'm thinking maybe we may need to get a search party, send him in, and make sure he's okay. I'm a little worried. Haven't heard any. Oh, there he is. Everything come out okay, Wes? Like I said, this is the life I live. I'm constantly uh, having to wait on him and his bathroom issues that he has. I, I've suggested in the past that he go see a doctor about it. He refuses. I nearly died. It's a good thing right now, honestly, that this isn't smell-o-vision. 
because if it was smell a vision you guys would be dead I'm I had to sit down by the tree here because it was overtaking me I got I, I had to get down low uh, fortunately that hot gas rises okay Larry just went in the bathroom again and he's the one that's saying that he that I had the bathroom problems yeah so here I am waiting again but uh, hey, I just learned to put up with it. Bye. Well, that's it for our first shakedown trip for the Suzuki Bergman 650s. I had a little mishap on the way back that I wasn't able to record because it was just hectic traffic, a lot of high temperatures, and I ended up overheating my bike due to a faulty radiator fan. It was binding up on the radiator and it kept blowing fuses. I took care of that the frame around the fan was just too close to the radiator when I got home I was able to drive it home without overheating it as long as I was driving and the wind was blowing through it, it kept it cool but just at, at stop signs and stuff I couldn't stop very long or it started overheating so we got that taken care of everything's great hope you enjoyed it just remember like share subscribe and don't forget I'm just a man in a cave causing mayhem thanks